Hey guys, it is Lou here at Aegis Comics of Alaska, Alaska's comic book shop, and welcome to our preview show, where we're going to talk a little bit about the craziness coming from Diamond this week, and from Lunar Distribution. Let's get it started. So here's my ugly face again. So you can see in the background, I got some stuff there that we're going to be showing off tonight, but uh, uh, some cool stuff that's happening starting tomorrow. Um, we do have some books that went back into publication. They were digital and now they're going to be available at the shop, which is uh, these guys right here, the Ghost Spider and Revenge of a Cosmic Ghost Rider. A couple of you guys have been waiting on that. And these books are now showing up at the shop. These were the books that during COVID had gone digital, and there was no news on whether or not we were going to able to uh, we were going to be able to see them uh, come into print. So we're really happy about that right now. Actually, we're really stoked about that. Um, so that's that Ghost Spider and uh, uh, the uh, Revenge of the Goat. Uh, Range of Cosmic Ghost Rider. Let me see if I can zoom in on these here real quick. Uh, let's see here. So that's these bad boys right here. So they are in the shop. Uh, for those of you that are kind of confused about how to look up these books lately, there's two spots that you need to be looking uh, on the on the web. You've got your traditional previews, right? And then for those of you that uh, have the uh, pull box, essentially you just, you know, when you start searching, you can look through new releases, so this week, or uh, uh, any product updates or features, but Let's say you were looking for a ghost spider. Everything ghost spider would pop up here. So nothing's changed in that regard. However, uh, uh, for DC stuff, well, you can't you can't order from our pull box anyway using Previews World. You have to use. Uh, the DC Comics website and the DC Comics website what you do is you uh, let's see here you click on comics once you go to dccomics.com or a shortcut would be dccomics.com backslash comics and then right here is where you're going to actually see all the stuff that's coming out this week and what's coming up uh, your sneak peeks and everything else your current series and then at this point I mean you do have the choice of subscribing to their digital or you can just message us or even better come to the shop and uh, tell us what titles you want we have these uh, DC connect forms that we have you fill out here at the shop or a blank uh, form to order your DC comics and this is how you would order uh, you've got this uh, Detective Comics, you got the death metal that's killing it right now and all these other titles. Uh, uh, coming up soon will be uh, here in the next, what, month and a half, two months will be Detective Comics 1027, which is supposed to be the 1,000th appearance of Batman. So that's gonna be a, a larger book. And then you've got Batman 100 that's gonna be coming out soon. Uh, so. 
uh, does a bunch of Harley Quinn stuff and everything else. Uh, so, for DC Comics, you gotta go to dccomics.com backslash comics. For previews, it's just your traditional previews catalog. So, I hope that answers questions regarding that. That's the only way uh, you're able to see what's coming up next. Of course, you can go to our website. If you go to uh, Aegis Comics, Alaska.com. And if you just click on new releases, you'll see what we have at the shop this week. Now, once again, this is this is provided by uh, Previews, which is Diamond Comics. So here, the only books you're seeing on our new releases tab is what Diamond sent us. So you'll notice no DC stuff here. As you go through here, there's no DC. It's all the other publishers that have remained with Diamond. So you've got Marvel, Image, uh, Xenoscope, and all the rest. So that's what's going on there. At the shop here, we are going to have some other cool stuff. Uh, tomorrow we will also have, for all of you... Uh, Baby Yoda fanatics, let's see here, we're going to have, that's right, let's see if I can uh, hand this out a bit, yeah, that's that uh, 10 inch tall Baby Yoda pop right there. <laughs> That will be available at the shop tomorrow. I believe uh, the price for that bad boy is like $34.99 or something like that. And then uh, we have the other one as well. Let me see. The uh, smaller one, which is the plush one. I need this one here. That's the uh, huggable one there. You know, you just squeeze them and love them there. So we'll have those available tomorrow. I believe that one's uh, $25.99. So that'll be available tomorrow as well at the shop. Most shops throughout the nation should have those available. Now, some uh, potential bad news is that our, it looks like our, uh, our lunar stuff might be delayed as they work things out. So the uh, lunar delivery might be delayed for uh, tomorrow. I hope not, but uh, we'll see. Um, let me see here. Yeah, it's looking like worst case scenario, uh, tomorrow morning we'll get that shipment. Uh, actually, worst case scenario would be later in the day tomorrow, which means the books wouldn't be available until after 5 o'clock tomorrow, or they wouldn't be available until Thursday, which gives you another reason to come see our smiling faces. But uh, uh, yeah, that, that is not something that uh, uh, we can control right now. Lunar is doing the best they can. The problem is that uh, they're at the mercy of FedEx. The uh, Diamond uses UPS and uh, Lunar uses FedEx and FedEx is gonna, because of uh, the uh, uh, pandemic stuff down in the low 48 uh, you still have uh, some delays with postage so FedEx 
kind of uh, screwed the pooch on that one. So we'll, we'll get it as soon as we can. And like I said, it just gives you guys another reason to come by the shop and say hello to us. Um, we're going to have some of our, uh, once again, the uh, free comic book summer books. We have some new ones that are available tomorrow. Uh, I think, let me see here, they might uh, show up in our... In our previews here. If not, uh, oh, yeah, that's going to be You got that venom that's going to be here too. Oh, what's up, Jason? Fellow New Yorker. All right. Yeah, uh, I will tell you. Hey, what's going on? Yeah. <sighs> We haven't been getting shorted, so I'll say that, but we've just been seeing delays. And I think, I think what happened was a lot of shops were protesting the DC deal, rightfully so, because none of us were prepared to start dealing with two distributors. But uh, uh, during that, minor protests that they did, they ended up delaying getting orders to this new distributor. So any delays in that resulted in not having enough supply. So uh, I think a lot of the LCS has jumped on a little late. Uh, out here in Alaska, we're pretty desperate to get things. So we jumped on it as fast as we possibly could. And I will say, uh, I think even we jumped on the bandwagon probably about two or three weeks after they started shipping. So we were already behind the curve as well. So we were able to get on the stuff that uh, is available right now. All the Joker War stuff, we've been able to get that stuff. Uh, the uh, And I bet you that's exactly why they, uh, um, that Robin King first uh, appearance, that 1 in 25, that book should not be going for 450 bucks on eBay. That's absolutely ridiculous. But I, 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 I would suspect that that's part of the problem, right? That because a lot of shops didn't get their orders in in time, DC didn't produce enough of those books, and I'm oversimplifying it. I'm sure there was a lot more to it, but you know we've spoken about FOC orders and everything on our channels before, so. Uh, let me see here. Uh, yeah, the with FOC, for instance, with the FOC system, which is Lunar uses the FOC system and Diamond uses the FOC system. The FOC system allows you to order books approximately two weeks prior to the, uh, or to adjust your orders two weeks prior to delivery date. Well, if you jump on that anytime after FOC, you're, you're, you're crap out of luck because you figure that their little casualty matrix or whatever you want to refer to it as uh, the books, the reorders, the reorders were designed for damaged books and lost shipments. It was never designed for backfilling people that ordered late in the game. That's not what it was designed for. So as an example, if, if uh, they, they predict that someone's going to be ordering 500 books, they will have an extra 25 books at the warehouse just in case those books get damaged or books get lost. So anything above that, they didn't account for and they don't have those books. But I think I'm preaching to the choir for some of you that have been in the comic game for a while. But for the new people into this, that are into this game, uh, that's what's going on right now. You've got uh, the books that uh, people are ordering at these shops. They're not. They're not getting them because they're they're ordering way after FOC. And the shops know better, but it is what it is. You know, we none of us knew that this was going to happen. Nobody knew. As a matter of fact, it, it's my understanding that Lunar and uh, uh, UCS, I think they are, they. They were temporary fixes. They were never supposed to be this uh, long-term fix, but it's turned out that they're working so far. Uh, I, 
with the exception of uh, this hiccup the last two weeks with FedEx. And I don't think that's really their fault. That's FedEx. So uh, we get our books. None of them are damaged. I mean, knock on wood, uh, all of our boxes, uh, and you can look on videos uh, on our channel where uh, we show those unboxings. Lunar sends their boxes with a bubble wrap. If they send you a 1 in 25 or a 1 in 100 or a 1 in 50, it's bagged and boarded. As soon as you see a bagged and boarded book in the Lunar Box, you know that's one of your ratio variants. Diamond will send you a 1 in 100 in the middle of a stack, and it'll look like just any other book. And you just have to pray that uh, the book doesn't get bent or damaged during shipping. And until Diamond changes those practices, I think, you know, I'll tell you right now, uh, I'm truthful with all my customers. And, you know, some of you may roast me for saying this, but it is what it is. If one of the, if, if they get so much as one more of the big three flip over the Lunar, that's a wrap for Diamond. If uh, Image or Marvel switch over to Lunar, that's a wrap. Because uh, until Diamond figures out how to actually package things, today... I should just link this video of what uh, we videotaped today where we had a, a book come in. Insane, by the way. It, they mailed it to me via UPS. And it was in a Gemini box. So I'm assuming, oh, it must be one of these ratio variants they owe me. We open up the box and it's a image first Walking Dead reprint. Number one. That's a dollar book. The shipping to send that to me was about, let's call it four to five bucks. So I'm negative $5.50 on that book right now. So that that's traditional diamond right there. That's how diamond does. And that, there was no reason for them to send me a book like that. So all right, I'll get off my rant right now. Um, let me see here. So, once again, some good news, right? We've got Baby Yoda. You can't be mad and upset when you got when you're staring at Baby Yoda. You just can't. So, now I promised you guys an unboxing. So, I've got some CBCS stuff that uh, uh, is here. So let me hook that up real quick. Let me see here. All right. All right, let me set this up here real quick. Guys, we are getting ready to do the um, unboxing. You, uh, yeah. All right, let's try this here real quick. Uh, so let's see what we got from CDCS. For the show is uh, EGS. Uh, we offer CBCS for customers that want that option. Uh, let's take a look at what came in today. 
As always, they package their stuff extremely well. All of their stuff is bubble wrapped, as you can see. Let's see what we got here. Oh, there's some nice ones right here. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. So. start roasting me that this thing's in the way. There we go. Let's see how this shows up. Got that uh, Silver Surfer Black 8.0 and uh, Joker Villain of the Year, the uh, Scorpion Comics Pirello variant. Let me see if I can fix this. Yeah, there we go. So we've got those two right there. Those came back an 8.0 for a customer, an 8.5. Let's see here. Let's see what else we've got. Should have uh, more books popping up here. Let's see. Once again, you've got EGS and CBCS as options here at the shop. Customers have been waiting quite some time for these books because they have uh, delays like every other place for shipping and everything else. But both companies, whether it be uh, Diamond or uh, other TV, uh, um, CDCS or uh, uh, EGS. This is a uh, death metal in a 9.8. That is beautiful. Death metal in a 9.8. That just, yeah, that came out really nice. So we'll have that available for the customer. But if you want to get your books graded here at the shop, sent out a uh, submitted for grading, just swing by our shop and we will hook you up. So, let's see here. Yeah, make sure you guys come by the shop tomorrow for new books. Remember we have, uh, New titles out tomorrow from DC and from uh, Marvel, uh, Dynamite. We got that new Chaos. Uh, Red Sonia Chaos is here. The uh, uh, Xenoscope uh, Robin Vigilante will be here. And like I said, uh, we're really happy about the fact that. Uh, these books here, the, uh, yeah, let me pop these up here. Let me pop these up here. 
here. Yeah, just remember these books are going to be available tomorrow and that they are finally back in print, which is awesome news for us. So make sure you come get your books tomorrow. If you have uh, any questions or if you want to check us out or check out our online store, you can always go to our uh, website. And we hope to hear from you guys soon. Thank you guys. And take care. We will see you guys tomorrow. Oh. Does the other grading services cost you guys? How much does the other grading service? Okay, let's see here. Let me, uh, hold on, I see you there. Uh, all right, Don, so EGS typically runs about, um, without shipping, I want to say it's, rounds up to about 25 bucks a book or something like that so uh, it's the shipping that's expensive it, uh, for both services we tell you where you save your money is if you send more books and we have found that five or more books is the best bang for your buck because you're averaging, with shipping, you're averaging about, uh, I want to say about $28 to $30 a book. Uh, maybe it's more like uh, 28 bucks a book. I think it's five or more books. So that's your best bang for the buck is submitting five or more books at a time. So I hope that answers your question. Uh, uh, EGS and CBCS, when you're looking at about the five book range they're they're going to be about the same the thing is that egs offers those custom labels i mean that's like uh their big mainstay the uh the custom labels are yeah i mean they're second to none when it comes to that let me see if i have a yeah i've got some samples right here actually so and these are kind of like they're You know, this isn't even like his like uh, most awesome stuff. This is just like his his cool stuff. You know, you've got like that one there, or that X Men, where he'll color match. And if you do a custom, you're looking at ten bucks per label. If you look at like he has a bunch of different colors that you can choose from, and uh, uh, those are only five bucks if it's his pre-made stuff. And then if you just want to do your traditional blue and gold for signed stuff, then that's a, uh, that's just free. It, you just pay for the grading. So you're looking at uh, uh, essentially um, with both companies, the reason we recommend CBCS and EGS, EGS is our preferred, but both companies is because they do the unwitnessed signature uh, verification, which is critical, right, for all of the collectors. Yeah, EGS, is a, a, EGS has been around for, I think it's only been two years now. They're new. And then you've got CBCS. Well, the guy, the president of CBCS was, I mean, this guy wrote the book on grading. So he is literally... Uh, uh, well, he wrote the uh, Overstreet Guide on grading, or he, he, he's like the main uh, uh, contributor to it. And he was one of uh, CGC's lead graders, and I think one of their founding comic book graders before he switched over and started CBCS, which is now uh, backed by Beckett, which, if you know Beckett, Beckett was the massive uh, uh, card uh, uh, baseball card, sport card, uh, uh, grading company. So, you know, you've got that back in there. So if you're trying to get verification for signatures, they're the way to go. What I like about EGS and CBCS 
is that you have both of them, you get three graders notes. So, like if you're looking at, whether you're looking at the, uh, let's look at this X-Men for instance. The X-Men, if EGS, it comes with the grading notes certified attached. So you can actually see what the defects were with that book, which is awesome. I mean, that's not something that uh, is readily available with, uh, well, hell, you got to pay for that uh, with uh, CGC. And CGC does not provide grading notes for anything under a 9.2. So EGS provides grading notes for everything under a 10 because if it's not perfect, there has to be something wrong with the book. With CBCS, uh, let me grab the CBCS one real quick. With CBCS, on the back of the slab, you'll have an actual QR code right there. Let me see here. And that QR code, you just scan that, and it'll take you online to the uh, actual uh, CBCS Graders Notes website, which is free. There's no password, no nothing. It just, that links you right to the Graders Notes. So free of charge, right on your phone, whether you have Android or uh, Apple iOS. As long as you have a QR reader enabled, you're able to go straight to the Graders Notes. And they provide grading notes for anything under a 9.8. Anything under a 9.8, you're gonna see graders notes. So I think that's really cool. Uh, it provides a lot more transparency and grading. Uh, not a problem, Don. And uh, yeah, so that, that's, that's my big beef with CGC. Cause you, you don't know what's wrong with the book, so. With CGC nine out of ten times, you're just rolling the dice. So it, this just provides more open, open, uh, open communication with the end users, right? The collectors. So, guys, thank you so much. We hope that you guys have a blessed evening, and uh, we'll try to do this every uh, Tuesday night to give you guys a, a preview of what's coming up next. Remember, uh, just as a uh, uh, a review. If you're wanting to order from your local comic book shop for DC, don't use the previews catalog. It's not going to be there. You got to go to dccomics.com slash uh, 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 thank you, Don. The, uh, uh, really appreciate that. Yeah, but you got to go to dccomics.com, unfortunately, and you have to click on the comics. And this is where you're going to see what books are coming out. And this is what this is the information you're going to provide your LCS. Almost all the LCS now have what's called DC Connects. DC Connects is just an old school. Uh, it's like the old school uh, retailer printout that they used to have. And... Uh, you can uh, fill that thing out, this little check box, and then give it to a checkout, and they'll put it in your pull box, and then they know what to order for you. Um, now, for previews, well, nothing's changed with previews. Previews, you just go and uh, type the name of the title you're looking for, and let's see. Uh, Iron Man. Actually, let's go with Venom. Venom, you'll see all your Venom stuff right here. I mean, what I do like with preview still is if you want to order something signed, you can get that stuff here. They got short the Supergirl variant. Did you get yours? Yeah, we're getting ours. We'll, we'll be getting ours. So real quick, is your LCS using, um, I think it's called UCS, or are they using Lunar? Because it sounds like everybody that's using the other company are the ones complaining of the shortages. 
Let me see what the hell. What's the name of the other company? Hey, if anybody who's online knows, uh, put it in the comments real quick. But I think, or put it in the live chat. Let me see. There is a. Uh, let me see. UCS, I think it is. UC, UCS Comics. Yeah, it is UCS. So it sounds like everyone that's using this company right here are the ones getting shorted. New York. Yeah, because I'm from Queens originally, man. We didn't have any of this nonsense back then. We, my, my comic book shop, unfortunately, I don't even know if it exists anymore because I'm originally from uh, Woodhaven, Queens. We, it was a, a baseball card shop slash comic book shop. And then whatever they didn't have, we would just go to the, uh, we'd go to the J train there and right at the bottom of J train on Jamaica Avenue and Woodhaven Boulevard, there was a, a newspaper stand there that had comic books too. I bought my first uh, uh, run of uh, the Wolverine miniseries right there at that uh, newspaper stand. So I also bought my Alpha Flight there too. Yeah, I, I can see that. But yeah, so now here's the tricky part is that UCS and Lunar. Not, okay, so here's an interesting thing. You're in New York, right? Uh, Lunar and UCS are owned by Midtown Comics. Midtown's in New York. But I wanna say that these guys are distributing, well, at least you, uh, uh, Lunar is distributing out of uh, Indiana, I believe. I think UCS is out of Indiana as well. At least UCS has a, uh, uh, a catalog though. Oh, that's interesting. We didn't even have a catalog for this. All right. We should probably get a link for this. Hmm. Oh, they got them from New York. Yeah, that's that's UCS or Midtown, basically. Midtown owns, and, and that was the biggest criticism for everybody about this whole deal was that UCS and Lunar are owned by one of our competitors. They're owned by a competing comic book shop. So the next question your LCS is going to ask is, uh, did Midtown get all their books? Because if they did and everybody else is getting shorted, well, that's an issue because that's definitely a, a, a conflict of interest if they're getting all their books and all of us are getting shorted. Our books just got here late. For, this is the first time. Uh, no, that's not true. We were late last week, too. This is the first time we were this late, though, so that's kind of a pain right now. Uh, uh, but when the books do get here, they're they're always in great condition. So, yeah. Let me see. This is interesting here. So you guys see here this DC Connects. This is what we hand people out. This is the digital catalog. So this is like their version of previews here. I'm loading it up on my screen. I'm hoping you guys can see that too. Yeah. Let's see. Gotta take a breath for a second, make sure that I, I didn't like pull up Pornhub or something on, on YouTube Live. All right, so here's uh, uh, the DC Connects catalog here. It should only, well, it's showing 97 pages. That's crazy. Okay. So, uh, uh, The layoffs? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Because uh, the layoffs were mostly at Warner Brothers. They, they laid off 800 employees at Warner Brothers. DC, the people that they laid off, the way I understand it, was all the, the leadership staff or the management staff. So uh, the only person who's uh, still around, to my understanding, based off of the news, because I'm not there, but it's Jim Lee, and Jim Lee has been removed from uh, his leadership position. So, uh, yeah, here's that. Here's this catalog here, man. I might, I might have to take this link and put this on our website as well. This is a good site for people to go to, the DC Connects. So, 
Because the DC Connect sheet that we hand out everybody at uh, at the shop doesn't have all this information. It's just it's just a uh, a two pager that uh, it has a little checklist with the names of the books, and then you just fill it out right there. So that's what we have. But uh, yeah, this is interesting right here. Uh, I'm gonna check this out later, and I'll, I'll put a link for this in. Uh, on our website, and I, I'll put another link for this too on uh, on Facebook so that people can get to it because this looks like uh, something that people are gonna want to see. Let me see if I got yeah. See here, check this out, guys. This is what we hand out people at the shop right here. I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but uh, yeah, this sheet right here. This is what we hand out at the shop at checkout, and then you fill this out. And then you hand it to us at the register, and then we put it in your uh, in your box. And J the Jim Lee's not a. Uh, my understanding is that he's essentially the liaison for the the comics, basically, so he, for art, essentially. So he he answers to uh, Warner Brothers, who in turn answers to AT and T. And they let them know, hey, that uh, this is what we recommend for art for the next book or whatever. Or I think he's also in charge of, uh, now that I think of it, he's also advises on comic book stuff to Warner Brothers uh, for, I guess, what would translate into movies and stuff. So he's kind of like a Diet Coke of uh, Kevin Feige, but not that kind of influence, sadly. And I feel like I'm... I'm talking trash about Jim Lee, but I, I'm not. I'm just saying that I, I don't think that they they hold him in the high regard that they hold the staff at Marvel, uh, so to speak. But it's kind of a shame because Jim Lee's been in the game for so long. He's been so loyal to DC. So, shame. Uh, so, this is what you're going to see at checkout. The, uh, the, uh, this is how you order these books right here. So... All right, guys. Well, I appreciate you guys for uh, sticking in for as long as you did. Um, I will have this link here on our uh, on our website, and on and I'll link it on Facebook real quick too. I'll see if I can put it in the show notes as well. Guys, thank you so much. We appreciate you, and we will see you tomorrow at the shop, man. Good night to everybody. Take care.